Yes, I want to talk about the English Premier League and the Spanish League. Every time you talk to people about football, oh, they always talking about, oh, Spanish League is not as strong as the Barca's Premier League. You know, every time a team dominates the Barca's Premier League, it's always a case, oh, they're the strongest team in the world because they're dominating their league. You understand? Because they're dominating the Barca's Premier League, oh, they're the best team in the world. But we can remember there's a lot of times where Manchester United won the league by what, 19 clear points. They meet Basel, Basel not beat them in the Champions League. You know what I mean? They win the league by how many points and they meet Barcelona and got, and got trash in the Champions League final. Twice, back to back. You understand? 2 0 and 3 1. You understand? <coughs> no league. When it comes to La Liga, Serie A, Bundesliga, you do not underestimate any team, bro. You understand? Things happen. Wow, 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 Barca's Premier League, oh, the strongest team, in the, the strongest league in the world, best league in the world. Last night was another example. Last night was another example. To just tell you all to keep your mouth shut. You understand? You Barclays Premier League fans love to, you know what I mean, talk down on other people's leagues. Or Bundesliga is a farm league, or... This league is a farm league. Manchester City been dominating this league for how many years now? You understand? They've been dominating this league for how many years now? L let's talk about that. So the Barclays Premier League is not a farm league? Huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting on the bus. <clears throat> so what are you saying? The Barclays Premier League is not a farm league? So what is it then? What is it? Tell me. If it's not a farm league, tell me what the Barclays Premier League is. Manchester City been dominating this league for years now. Huh? For years. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. They've been trashing teams. Six, seven, eight. Big margins. And then when they meet Barcelona. They got thrown out of the Champions League. Many times, come on. They cannot win a Champions League up to now. Huh? They hired two of Barcelona backroom staff, two of Barcelona recruitment staff. Then they bring in Pep Guardiola. They still cannot win the Champions League. And they're the best team in England. And you all say they're the best team in the world because they dominate English Premier League. Come on. Come on, I think y'all need to wake up now. You understand? Let me talk about Manchester United as well. <coughs> they're rubbish. Man, you fans are so delusional. They came second last season. They beat They beat PSG In the Champions League Knocked them out of the Champions League And they beat Manchester City Home and away in the Barclays Premier League Came second in the Barclays Premier League These people were not satisfied With the outcome And they went for a quick fix They went and bring Ronaldo in Because Ronaldo and his agent Seems to cook up a strategy to get Manchester United to sign him. You know, at the time, no one wanted to sign him, so he had to try something. You know, his agent went to City because everyone, everyone thinks Manchester City needs a striker. They've been doing well without a striker. We know Pep Guardiola is not a striker coach, striker coach. You understand? He likes to play midfielder through the middle, falls nine. We all know this. So. I know he wasn't going to accept that even though they were do talking to Manchester City I know Pep Guardiola wasn't going to sign Ronaldo 
Juventus got rid of him. Real Madrid got rid of him. Juventus, let's oh let's go to Juventus. Juventus struggled. Do you understand? They were on a good momentum. They won seven Serie A title. When Nala came in during the momentum, they continue won, they continue winning the title. But then in his last season, they started struggling. They struggled for top four finish. Bailey made it into the Champions League. And they got knocked out of the Champions League. Never go past the round of 16 and the quarterfinals. Since he came. And all Manchester United fans, all they know, oh, he scored a lot of goals, oh, he scored a lot of goals. But does he make his teammates better? He doesn't seem so. Because Juventus... Juventus is a very, very, very good team. Juventus was doing well. When he went to Juventus, Dybala got worse. He, he, he dropped form. Morata dropped form. Most of his attacking teammates dropped form. Even when he was playing with Benzema, sometimes Benzema is not happy. He's not comfortable. You know, Ronaldo want all the attention. Came to Manchester United with the same attitude. And all the Manchester United players start losing form and they were doing so well the season before that. So, what are you going to say? Huh? You can leave a comment. Leave a comment. Let me know what you, what you think. You know, even though I don't give a shit what you think. Because, you know, some of y'all Manchester United fans don't know shit about football. Y'all are just fans. Y'all understand the game. Y'all just chat, 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 chat. You know, y'all just want to see our team win no matter the cost. So, yeah. Truth. <laughs>